It's near the end of 2023 and it's been an interesting year for gaming. A few good RPG games came out like Baldur's Gate 3, Sea of Stars, and Tears of the Kingdom. But now a new standard has been set and companies are pushed to make high quality titles. This whole time I've been thirsty for battle but now I've just been sitting on my couch waiting for something while playing FF7 Ever Crisis. When I beat Elden Ring last year, it opened a gateway or restored my faith in gaming. After that, no RPG could touch its level of perfection. Well, except maybe the previous Dark Souls games that I still have to play. These days, companies are now remaking older games because it seems like they're running out of ideas. They're using the nostalgia of simple-minded people like me to profit off of and I gotta say, it's working really well. They released all kinds of new trailers and what better way to show my excitement than to tell you my top 6 upcoming games. If you're excited like me, consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Your support is greatly appreciated. With that said, let's get started. Star Ocean Second Story R is a remake of a game that I used to put so many hours into as a teenager. When the new trailer came out, I was in shock to see the graphics being in a HD 2D style. The pixelated character design while being in a 3D environment makes this game so attractive. The vibrance of the colors and the effects in the battle system is top notch. The high quality music is awesome and the voice acting for the characters are so clear and well done. If you look closer in the text bar, the animation of the the texts coming out are so stylish and smooth. I am so glad that Square is coming out with more titles that are in HD 2D style because it modernizes games in such a retro and nostalgic way. Now this is coming out on November 2nd and there's a demo available for PC and all consoles except for Xbox. Lost Souls Aside is a Devil May Cry meets Final Fantasy game that's been announced since 2017 by a Chinese development studio called Alti Zero Games. The graphics for this game looks decent, but what really hits the home run is the environmental design and how the character is able to traverse around those areas. The graphical effects for the character is really cool. If you've ever watched Naruto, he reminds me of Sasuke with the slick electrical glides and the dashing throughout the environment. What really caught my eye is the gameplay and mechanics. The 60 FPS mixed with the action RPG battle system looks so much fun and with these combo attacks being done on these large bosses or enemies, it makes this game worthy of playing. I don't know about the story but the main character looks like he's seen better days and he's just lost in these layers of dimensions that he's trying to figure out. This game is coming out sometime in early 2024 for PC and PlayStation 4 and 5. Chrono Odyssey is an MMO graphical masterpiece that's been announced by a South Korean dev studio called Chrono Studios. If you look at each character design, it reminds us so much of the custom style that we could make in Elden Ring or Dark Souls. Just look at the architecture and the environmental design of the place. The lighting of the sun and how it hits every crevice of the objects in the game is something so realistic. The action RPG battle system looks so slick and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Each character character type look like they have their own unique abilities like slowing down time, powerful magic and combo attacks. Their design is also something to consider from the knight's armor to the mage outfits are just fabulous. The monsters or bosses have such interesting design and attacks as well. They range from tiny zombie ogres to ginormous dragons and they just look so real. An MMORPG of this caliber will probably need fast internet speed as well as a high performing PC. It's coming out for everything except for the Nintendo Switch. The release date hasn't been announced, but it will come out sometime in 2024. If you don't know Super Mario RPG, then you were probably born in the 2000s. This game was a masterpiece where Square and Nintendo were working together to create their first Mario RPG game. Now Nintendo is remaking it and it caught the older and new generations off guard. And now we're just all excited. The graphics look so good and so close to the original and that includes the turn-based battle system. This really cute design of the characters and the music remade has my nostalgia meter on over overload. The story is very interesting because it combines the Bowser kidnaps Peach thing but with a twist that will catch you off guard. It introduces new characters that have not been shown in the new Mario games and it's gonna be awesome to get reacquainted with them. This game will only be for the Switch because Nintendo is like the apple of the gaming world. Its release date is November 17th which is like two months from now. 
If you're a JRPG fan, I don't need to tell you much about FF7 Rebirth, and if you're new to it, make sure to play FF7 Remake or Ever Crisis to get acquainted with the story. Now this game is a remake of the original FF7 for the PlayStation 1, and it's one of the best RPGs till this day, and many fans were waiting for a remake for many years and we finally got it. The graphics in the battle system are amazing. They got a hybrid version of action RPG mixed with some turn-based mechanics that just modernizes everything. Unfortunately, because the story changed, the game was met with a lot of criticism in the gaming community and it still goes on till this day. They introduce new characters that are irrelevant to the story and it seems like they will do that in Rebirth as well. Let's just hope they all have some unique role to play in the development of the characters or plot of the game. Unlike Remake, they finally got Red 13 to be playable and that's a win but we'll have to see if his battle moves are worth it. This game will be released on February 29th of next year, but will only be for the PS5 and will probably be released for other consoles later on in 2024. My number one is Lords of the Fallen, and that wasn't an easy decision to make. It really reminds me of the hellish world of Elden Ring, but a bit more scarier. There's death-like creatures, dragons that could rip through dimensions, and massive monsters that are uniquely designed. What makes this game interesting is you play in two worlds that are layered together. The one that you're in is called Axiom, but you can use your lantern to access areas of the other world called Umbral, the realm of the dead. When you die, you go to Umbral and you have to find your way back to Axiom. That's like going into hell and trying to find your way back. The action RPG style system is fantastic and the combos and attacks are all perfectly set up for each type of character. I have a feeling the difficulty level is going to be like the Dark Souls franchise and I'm loving it. The graphics are like Chrono Odyssey which is out of this world and deserves some recognition. The environments from peaceful terrains to brutal hellish areas could be an existence existential threat to my mental health, but maybe for the better. This game is coming out in two weeks on October 13th. It will run on every console, except for Nintendo Switch because hey, we know it can't handle it. And that's the end of my list. If you thought of any game that should have been on this video, make sure to comment below. Anyways guys, that's all I have for today. If you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. See ya!